Hello there, and welcome to the next video. Uh, I think this is video like 100, some 112 or 13 or something. Um, but this is month 11, day number 4. Uh, actually, today is um, Friday, May 4th. But we're going to be talking about yesterday, which was Thursday the 3rd. I had just a lecture in uh, interactive audio. I almost said audiotronics for some reason, but we were in interactive audio. And what a day it was. It was exciting. It was invigorating. It was involved and exciting, I guess. Um, so let me open up my class folder here. So the first thing about this, before class, we had to download a zip file. And the zip file contained four audio samples. We had um, a, 70, a 357 Magnum shot a baby crying, a drill hit, and a hydraulic door sound. And we got to actually use these in class. We'll get to that. Uh, but as for the main points of the day, let me go ahead and open up these notes I took. Um, we discussed the basics of simple sound design. And there are a couple techniques that you can do. There are actually four sound design techniques that just overall and generally are the best ways to go. <coughs> so the first way that we just dis discussed is just using raw recording. Like meaning, I take this microphone and I just use the, the voice that is being recorded by QuickTime right now. So that would be an example of raw sound recording. Next would be layering techniques, which is where you layer multiple sounds on top of each other. Um, to get the sound that you're looking for, and you mix them and, and, and all that, and you get the levels all nice and proper. Third is manipulation or transformation. Now, this is where your plugins come in. This is where all your different little gear stuff comes in, and this is where I, I think a lot of the fun comes in. And this third one is actually where we spent most of the day looking at and, and actually doing. So within the manipulation or transformation um, category, you can alter pitch, you can add filters, you can do modulation effects, reverse effects, distortion, uh, the time stretching and compression, and I guess you could say reverb, but not really, so I wouldn't really count reverb in that category at all, but we kind of wrote it there as, as a reminder of, you kind of, but not really, you know what I'm saying? So throughout class, we actually, those audio assets that I, that I talked about uh, just a second ago, uh, we actually used these with Audacity to go ahead and ch check out some of these, some of these um, things. Oh, and it sounds like the missus is home, so give me just a second, guys. And actually, I will be right back. 